Now we're in the middle of the CWHL season, and at the moment, the Boston Blades find themselves in the middle of some serious challenges. While they started quick out of the gate, the Blades have since fallen back a bit and now find themselves just two games above 500. And while many of their comrades are skating in Sochi, the Blades will be hosting the Toronto Furies, the team with whom they currently share second place in the points total in the CWHL standings. Today, the Blades will face the power of the Furies in a battle for outright possession of second place. And we'll bring you the action right here next on New England Hockey Showcase. We're on location at the Rodman Arena in Walpole, Massachusetts today to bring you this Canadian Women's Hockey League match between the Toronto Furies and the Boston Blades. Good afternoon and welcome to New England Hockey Showcase, the program that travels around the area to bring you the coolest game on the planet. Alongside camera people Stacey Robert, Bob Boyce and John Semino, I'm Bill Robert and today we'll be ringside as the two teams tied for second place in the overall points total get ready to go at it right here at Rodman Arena. The last time we saw the Boston Blades was last month when they went into the first intermission with a 2-0 lead over their toughest rivals, the Montreal Stars. From there, though, however, it did uh, wind up going downhill. Montreal came back with four unanswered goals in the second period. That sealed the win. Two more in the third really drove the point home. Your final score, Montreal 6 and Boston 2. Since then, the Blades have been on the road. First, they traveled to Brampton, Ontario and won one of the two games there against the Thunder. Then it was on to Toronto and a 1-1 split of those two games as well. Yesterday, it was Toronto's turn to visit the Boston area. The Blades get out to a 2-0 lead on the strength of goals by Julian Dempsey and Elisa Wolfiler. Toronto tied the game at two with three minutes remaining and brought the whole affair to extra time. The score remained deadlock at the end of the five-minute overtime period, but the Blades eventually prevailed and got the winning shot in the shootout from Rachel Lannis and a 3-2 victory. Going into the game, Boston was one point behind Toronto in the standings. Toronto in second with a record of 8-5-1 and, and 17 points. The Blades at 8-7 with 16 points. The Blades got two points for yesterday's win, but the Furies got the one point for the overtime loss, and now the two teams are tied for points total in the CWHL standings. They're 12 points behind Montreal, who is uh, right now 14-1-2, and, and they're just off to a heck of a season. Montreal, another great season for them. Now the teams are tied for second place in the CWHL with 18 points. Sole possession of second place, at least for the time being, is up for grabs today. Now it's time to get ready to watch the CWHL's current number two and number three teams kind of sort of in action. Toronto and Boston, the Blades and the Furies will bring you the opening face-off and all the action next right here on New England Hockey Showcase. afternoon here at the Rodman Arena in Walpole and today we're going to watch the Toronto Furies take on the hometown Boston Blades. A very exciting game especially seeing as what's at stake sitting that right now as far as points go. The Blades and the Furies are tied for second spot in the CWHL standings. Technically the Blades do have the edge because they've got more wins. They're uh, nine and seven right now and uh, the uh, right now the uh, Toronto team is uh, eight seven and two I believe eight six and two but at any rate right now they've both got 18 points Still quite a few behind uh, Montreal, who have 30 points now in a period of running away with the season. But uh, the Blades and Toronto right now probably the uh, biggest battle in the CWHL standing. Coming up to the faceoff now at center ice. Starting today, that's going to be a Kate Buser for the Blades, centering Jessica Koizumi and Jillian Dempsey. On the uh, blue line as usual, it's uh, Burns and Bolden and uh, Alyssa Frompkin today between the pipes. And the faceoff is won by Toronto. And uh, they get it back into their zone momentarily. They uh, knock it all the way into the Boston zone now. With it is Bolden. Bolden tries to pass off the boards to Buser, but it's intercepted by Toronto. With it right there is Bolden now. Bolden, they try and put it in front and... Actually, that's Bolden. I'm sorry, not Bolden. <laughs> that's going to be confusing today. Bolden, Bolden. Bolden shouldn't be tough. Look at my hairline. But anyway... We do have a whistle behind the net as there's a little activity there and uh, ref's having a little bit of a conference as the uh, net has come off the moorings. Just into this game, just 25 seconds in and uh, so far no score between the Toronto Furies and the Boston Blades on a Sunday afternoon here at the Rodman Arena. I've never been here before, beautiful facility. Very uh, friendly to television coverage, I'll say that which is awesome. Some of the rings sometimes we're uh, kind of scrambling to find positions, but uh, we're good here. Face-off in the Boston zone. They just to try and get the, uh, the net back on the pegs here. And face-off in the Boston zone. Taken by Jill Cardella. One by her over to Bolden now. Bolden in the corner tries to move it up the uh, near boards. And uh, now there's uh, Kelly Cook trying to get it, but uh, Toronto brings it into the zone. It goes deep now with it there. That's uh, Jordana Peroff. 
She's battling there along with Burns and also Jessica Vela. And uh, who else is in there, too? I believe Bolden's in there as well. And uh, Boston trying to take it out now. And uh, they bring it along the near boards. Kept in, though. Nice job there by uh, Kristen Marson for the Furies. But now it goes all the way up the other end of the ice. And it's going to be icing before uh, Casey Pickett could catch up to it. So as a result, it'll be brought back all the way to the Boston zone for a face-off. And they'll drop the puck in the Boston zone once again. Just started this one first period, no score so far, and they'll face off one by Toronto. With it now, that's uh, number 27, that's uh, Carolyn Prevost. She's still got it. Pass now goes uh, looking for somebody deep along the boards. With it now is Vela. Vela tries to bring it along the board. She's uh, broken up there by Pickett. And uh, almost an interception. Uh, Cardell's got the puck now. Her pass attempt broken up a little bit by Vela, but Pickett's got it now. And she'll just scale it into the Toronto zone so that the uh, Blades can get fresh legs. Held up there by the goaltender, Sammy Joe Small. And now Toronto takes it back out. And the pass going uh, past the stick of Holly Carey Matamo. And with Blades have it once again. Pass intercepted. Pressure in the Toronto zone with it right there. Right now is Arts, Megan Arts for Toronto. Battle in the uh, near corner, the right wing side in the Boston zone. And with it right there now, that's uh, Katie Wilson. She's got it along with Whitney Naslin. And uh, Carrie Metamo's there too. Along with Christy Jensen for the blade. She is able to get control of the puck and chip it out. Goes past the stick though of uh, Kira Dostal. So it's kept in momentarily. With it now once again, that's Wilson for the Furies. She's got it in the left wing corner. Tries to pass it to Megan Arts, who's waiting on the other side. She's got the puck now, looking for Bonello at the point. She's got it now to uh, Michelle Bonello. Put it in, and a save better by uh, Wolf. I'm sorry, not Wolf. I'm sorry, wrong Alyssa there. That's Alyssa Fromkin. Alyssa Wolf was one of the skaters. I'm getting all my names messed up here today. And that's, oh, what wraparound attempt there by Wilson. Nice job there by Fromkin holding the post, and the puck scaled uh, behind the net and around the ice, and taken out now by the Blades. Just outside the zone. Nice a second effort there by uh, Kira Dostal. I'm sorry, that was Ashley Cottrell, number 16. Here they go now with it. Pass over to, oh, to try to get it over to Julie Allen. However, it just uh, hopped over her stick. Toronto, though, so far, taking uh, the early territorial advantage. Allen's got it now. Allen held up. Nice back checking there. I believe that's a, uh, I'm sorry, maybe not. Let's see. Maggie Taverna there. And it looks like she's going to get called for a hook. So the Blades are going to uh, get the first penalty of the game. Furies will get the first power play opportunity. Penalty at uh, 2.44 of the first period. And it's going to be a hooking call to number 19, Maggie Taverna. So the Blades will spend the next two minutes shorthanded. And the faceoff won by the Blades over to Bolden now. Bolden just trying to get out of the zone, but she's broken up. Nice job there by Bolden. And uh, Chevry's got it now. Corey Chevry. Back now to Cohen Chuck. The point, the other point now. That's over to uh, Bonella. Pass back over now to Balden, over to Cohen Chuck. Back to the point now. That's Bonella once again. Pass over to Balden. They're just playing keep away at this point. Balden, right face off circle. Pass across in front, trying to get it and score. Power play goal for Toronto. The goal scored by. The Boston Blades, Toronto Furies, if you're watching it right here on New England Hockey Showcase. And if you're watching us on cable TV, you can watch us online as well. If you missed an episode, you can get caught up. And they're all at our online home. It's www.newenglandhockeyshowcase.com. With 16.46 left to go in the first period. That's a power play goal. And Toronto leads it 1-0. A power play goal. Shot goes in after the faceoff. I believe that was put in by uh, Lisa Mullen. Onto the goaltender, Alyssa Fromkin. She's able to hold it up and get the face off. So early on, the Blades find themselves in a little bit of a hole. As they trail by one. Face off in the Boston zone to the blocker side of goaltender, Alyssa Fromkin. Taking the face off is Kate Buser. However, Toronto wins it. And uh, uh, let's see, Mullen tries to get it along the boards. But with it now, that's Allen. Once again, Julie Allen skating around the net, trying to find somebody in front. Back to even strength, obviously, with the power play goal. Jensen breaking up the uh, attempt there. Blades, though, need to get something happening out of their own zone. And let's see. Trying to bring out Kate Buser. She can't get it. Koizumi brought it out of the zone, but then lost the handle, so it's chipped right back in by Toronto. Jensen's got it now for the Blades. Goes right through the feet of uh, Whitney Naslin. 
over to Kate Buser now. Buser's got it. She's got Koizumi. They've got a possible three on two. Check goes in, and it goes wide of the net. Maybe stopped there, maybe gotten by the stick of the goaltender, Sammy Joe Small. First real challenge the Blades have put on Small so far today. Taverna's got it now after the clear from the Toronto zone. Pass intercepted by Perot, but Puck was just outside the blue line, so it'll be called offside. We'll have the faceoff just outside the Boston blue line. Blades kind of not dodging a bullet there because otherwise it was a, a good streak in. Jordana Peroff with a head of steam and a good shooting position, but uh, was just offside. Face off once again, won by Toronto, chipped into the Boston zone. Taverna's got it now. She's being harassed heavily along the backboards, but she comes away with a nice job there. She did well. And uh, let's see, puts it all right past the stick of Casey Pickett, and that'll be all the way down. We'll have an icing call. And once again, the puck goes back down to the Boston zone from where it came. One nothing so far, 15-32 left to go in the first period. The uh, lone marker, a goal by Holly Carey Matamo on the power play. One nothing Furies, face off in the Boston zone, Cardella to take it. And it's won by the Blades, going back now, trying to get it out as Taverna, over to Kelly Cook now. Cook tries to chip it ahead looking for Casey Pickett. If you can get Casey Pickett some space and some room to skate, she's very dangerous. Here they go once again with it now. That's control. Goes off Cardella's stick. It's a giveaway right at the slot. Oh, nice job there. Moving up with the puck there was a Katie Wilson, but then the puck was uh, knocked away by the Boston defense. We've got a loose puck now going into the Toronto zone. Fielded there by Shannon Molson, whose brother Matt, by the way, is a New York Islander, or at least was. With it now is Pickett. Pickett with a pass to Bolden. Bolden with that big shot. Tries to pass it across. Kept in. Nice job there by Drew Burns. Over to Cardema now in the left wing corner, right wing corner. Back over. Now pass goes uh, from Burns to Bolden. Bolden had to catch up with it, though. Pass now back to Burns. Back to Bolden. Bolden just stick handling at the point. Trying to get around uh, Carrie Matamo, who has the lone goal. She passes deep now into the left wing corner to Casey Pickett. And they lose the puck. Here come the Furies with it now. They try and bring it along the boards. Kept in by Drew Burns. Burns did well there. Molson's got it now. Molson in the back corner being harassed heavily there. I believe that was uh, Rachel Lanus who was uh, working on the forecheck there. And the uh, Blades still keep it in. Bolden with a shot in. Score! That went through a crowd. Usually Blake Bolden just blasts those in, but this was more or less kind of a floater. Snuck through an entire group of Furies and passed the goaltender, Sammy Joe Small. And with 14-18 left to go in the first period, this one is all knotted up. Nice job there. Blake Bolden with the goal. And one of the things we usually mention when we talk about Bolden is that booming shot from the point. Well, there, she definitely got it on net from the point, but it was more of a little floater. And I don't think Small expected it. She was expecting something a little lower. That right hop right over the glove into the back of the net. And the Blades have knotted this thing up. Now 1-1. And after the faceoff, Toronto wins it, knocks it into the Blade zone. There was a battle for it behind the net. But uh, the Blades have won it with Blake Bolden there, who just scored the goal. She's got to now pass it back to Drew Burns. Tries to get it off the boards to Ashley Control. And once again, there's an escape play. 2-1-1. That's a lattice. And also, that's going to be uh, Wolfauer. And there's, oh, they couldn't connect. Lattice tried to get it to Wolfauer on the connection. They had the open side. They just couldn't get the wood on the puck. From the left wing corner now, here comes Wolfauer. Back to the point to Naslin. Naslin tries to pass it over to Lindsey Berman. Berman's got it now. Does a little bit of a dipsy doodle in the right wing faceoff circle. Naslin's got it now at the left point. Naslin, backhanded pass up for uh, Berman once again, who's got it in the left wing corner, actually. Uh, in there as well as Emma Rambo. She's knocked against the boards heavily. And uh, we're coming out once again. We've got a whistle. Didn't see uh, the goaltender signal, but she's skating over to the scoring table now. And let's see here. Okay, I believe we have a, a roughing or a boarding penalty. So as a result, the Blades are going to have their first power play of the game. Nice opportunity for them now that they've tied it up. And the uh, faceoff won by Toronto, brought all the way down to the Boston zone. Fromkin stops it there, leaves it for Drew Burns, but then nobody home. She put it against the boards, but all the blades were heading the other way. With it now is Jillian Dempsey. Jillian Dempsey trying to start the rush. And coming out now, basically five wide. Dempsey there now going over to Bolden. Bolden pass to Koizumi. Koizumi with a shot, and a save by Small. Rebound knocked wide. And right now, left wing corner. 
Bunch of players battling for it there. Couple of players are down there. It's like a rugby scrum on skates down there right now. Pass goes back now to Bolden at the left point. Bolden stops there, gets it to Koizumi. Koizumi goes towards the boards, being headed off there by Hoffmeyer. Lexi Hoffmeyer for the uh, Toronto Furies. Goes all the way around the other boards now. Back to uh, Drew Burns. Back now to uh, Kate Buser. Buser has it in the right faceoff circle. Buser with a shot. Oh, it's knocked away. That was uh, Prevost, I believe, who got a stick on that. And nice back checking there. Goes out, kept in. Nice job, Drew Burns, keeping it in at the right point. Passes out. Oh, it goes right through Buser. Getting it now is Julian Dempsey, who passes it once again, goes through Buser, right to Drew Burns. Though. Burns back to Bolden. Bolden to Buser. Buser, right face off circle. Tried to pass it over. Maybe one pass too many. He tried to get it over to Dempsey. Dempsey couldn't handle it. Now Toronto's trying to clear it out. And actually, they're going to rush it right now. It's uh, going to be a Prevost to Caroline Prevost, who just uh, scales it into the Boston zone. 27 seconds left to go on the Toronto penalty. And the Boston power play is going to get moving. Of course, now they've got uh, Jill Cardella and Casey Pinkett out there, but Cardella's pass goes uh, way wide. As a result, Toronto's got it now, and they can just rag the puck a little bit. 10 seconds now left. Pinkett chips it in. Cook's got it now. Nice job staying on side. Cook going wide, and then ridden off the puck. Nice defensive play there. That was beautiful. That was uh, Michelle Bonella for Toronto. And now we're back at even strength. And Cook tried to uh, do a little bit of a chip pass over to Pickett. Pickett now gets it back to Taverna. Moving through now. That's, uh, I believe that's Dostal. And she scales it back into the Boston zone. Picking it up off the near boards there. Casey Pickett now back for uh, Kelly Cook. Taverna chips it. Goes past a couple of sticks. Pickett's got it now. Right face off circle. Going toward the right point. Over to Taverna now. Taverna just puts one in on net. Redirect attempt by Cardella. Winds up being stopped by the goaltender, Small. And Cardella tries to chip it around, but it's intercepted by Toronto. Kept out. Nice bit of forechecking there, but here we go. We've got a possible two-on-one. It's Balden. Balden and Vela. Pass goes. Oh, she just tries for the shot, and uh, Frumpkin is able to get in front of it. Big save there by the Boston netminder. Toronto now scaling it behind the net. Cardella battling for it there, along with Lisa Mullen. With it now. That's Kristen Marson. She puts it right in on net, and uh, Frompton's just going to stop it and hang on to it, get the face off. Just about at the halfway point of period number one, and so far, we've got a good one here. 1-1, one, one, Boston, Toronto. As the teams change out and get ready for the face off in the Boston zone. 10-20, 10, 10 minutes, 20 seconds left to go in period number one. You're watching it right here on New England Hockey Showcase. Thanks for tuning in today. Check us out online if you missed any episodes. It's www.NewEnglandHockeyShowcase.com. Going now, that's going to be uh, Christy Zamora going up against uh, Ashley Cottrell. Looks like Toronto's won it again. With it there now is Mullen, Lisa Mullen. Back to the point now. Shot goes in. Save with the pad by Frumpkin. And no rebound attempt as the Blades are not uh, able to get the puck out of there. Almost a pass to a streaking Rachel Lannis. With it now, though, here they come. That's uh, Cottrell. Cottrell gets the puck knocked away. It goes right through Christy Jensen. And having to go back and uh, get it now is Whitney Naslin. Naslin with a little bit of a backhand pass. Gets it over now to Jensen. Jensen stops, tries to go off the boards. Ashley Cottrell intercepted and knocked back there. I believe that was Zamora once again. And we've got a whistle. Might have been something of the outside variety, or maybe the pocket left the uh, surface of the ice. But anyway, didn't get the signal, but there was a whistle stoppage in playing the faceoff right outside the Toronto Blue Line. They win the faceoff, though, and are able to clear it right to the Boston zone. Bolden has it there, she, uh, does a pass to Burns, and then it's chipped out. Going back for it right there is uh, Mullen. Mullen now over to uh, Bonella, and she chips it up. Looking for Arts. Bolden has it now, tries to get around uh, Bonella. Can't do it, but then Rambo gets it to uh, Shannon Mahoney. But then that's chipped out. And going down there, that was uh, Emma Rambo. Loses the puck at center ice. And once again, here come the uh, Furies with it now. Chipping it up there, that's Katie Wilson. Carrie Matamo, who's got the lone Toronto goal. She had it. And now with it is Shannon Mahoney. And the Blades will go for a change out. And Mahoney will just scale it into the zone. And the Blades will get fresh legs out there right now. There's Dempsey, there's Taverna, and there's also Kate Buser. Jessica Koizumi's out there as well. Oh, in front! Oh, Buser had an open shot! Had an open net. Goalie was out of position, but getting down and covering was Lisa Mullen. Blades pressing once again in the Toronto zone. 
And the action continues in the left wing corner. Buser battling as well as Dempsey. They are able to get it now back to Koizumi, back to Taverna, back to Koizumi now. Koizumi in the left wing face-off circle, chips it to the backboards. Kay Buser will pick it up there. She'll uh, skate around, get it back to Taverna now. Taverna fakes the shot, puts it in toward the net now. Maybe trying to get a redirect attempt off of Buser, but she couldn't get the, uh, the stick in position. And once again, there's a battle for it along the backboards. It's Koizumi, that's Dempsey, and a couple of the Furies as well. I believe that's, uh, that's Vela and uh, maybe uh, Benella in toward the net. Loose, still goes wide. A couple of uh, heart-stopping moments there for Toronto fans. A couple of players collide and go down, and Toronto just chips it out right now. That's Bonello with it. She just chips it all the way down the ice. And there's no icing. So the Blades are going to have to bring it all the way back up. Kelly Cook has it now, tries to get it on the stick of Jill Cardella. Pass a little too hard, and it goes wide. And now Toronto's looking to scale it back out again. But they put it right onto a Boston stick. And getting it there, nice little move there. That's Cook. Cook has Pickett going wide. Cook is hauled down. Cardella's got it, though. Cardella, oh, couldn't get it to Pickett. And uh, Cardella's got it after the pass from Pickett along the backboard. In front, the shot, and the save. Saves there by Small. Naslin with a shot. And it actually winds up being blocked there by uh, Janelle Cohen, Chuck. Chevry's got it now. She brings it into the Boston zone for Toronto. Still trying to uh, stick handle with two blades sitting right on her. Toronto still with it in the zone, though. And uh, with it right now, once again, that's uh, Balden. Back to Chevry. Pass Cohen, Chuck. Now Cardella's going to get it. She passes off the boards to herself, and now she's just going to try and run it off. Maybe try and hit Casey Pickett with a long lead. With it there is Cook now. Cook goes back to Naslin. Whitney, uh, Whitney Naslin with it now. Over to Alyssa Wolfiler. She's going to turn the corner and get around Molson, but can't hold on to the puck while doing so. And now the Furies bring it right back. Here's Mullen. Mullen, though, gets held up by Rachel Lannis, who is able to break her up and take the puck away. Oh! Boston could have had the Furies on a line change. Unfortunately, Ashley Cottrell and Alyssa Wolfiler collided. And we're not able to bring the puck further up the ice. Toronto just chips it back into the blade zone. Going back and giving chase now is Whitney Naslin, who almost loses it. Gets a chip pass along the boards. Off boards pass now, and it goes past the, everybody, basically. Going after it, Alexi Hoffmeyer for the Fury. She's being chased by Wolfiler off Benello's stick, but she gets it right in front, and she's starting to carry it out. Stop short, and then it's back check. Nice job there by the Blades. I believe that was uh, Cottrell. However, Benello, nice job getting through everybody. Still has it. Going wide, right face off circle, right boards now. And it's taken away by Wolfiler, but then that's taken away by Hoffmeyer. And with it now, that's a... Uh, Allen once again, Julie Allen for the Toronto Furies. And they bring it through center ice once again with it now is Megan Arts. Tries to move it in, tries to turn the corner, puts it in front, but nobody there. And now Drew Burns tried to chip it out to our Shannon Mahoney. With it now, Blake Bolden. Puck was in the slot. She had to handle that one cleanly, almost lost it. And uh, now with it, that's uh, Lindsay Berman. Chip off the boards. Here come the blades. Emma Rambo with it now going through center ice. She's got uh, Mahoney with her. She's just going to scale it in, and the Blades will change up, get fresh legs. 5.18 left to go in period number one so far. This one nodded 1-1 one, one between the Furies and the Blades. Wilson brings it into the Boston zone now. Going wide, ridden off the path by Taverna. Carrie Matamo had it momentarily there, but then a big hit against the boards. And with it now is uh, Jillian Dempsey. Dempsey tried to chip it to herself, but then it was taken by Shannon Molson. Molson uh, does a spin around, tries to get it over to Wilson. Puck chips off her stick. Goes to the backboards once again. Maggie Taverna giving chase, then backhands a pass off to Kira Dostal. Pass over now, and with it is Dempsey. Dempsey to Buser. Kate Buser gains the blue line, going to the left wing faceoff circle, trying to turn the corner, can't do it. And then the puck is taken away, but goes to Koizumi. They try and put it in front, but nobody there. Buser's got it now, and they've got Dempsey camped out in front, but they can't get the puck to her. Puck is going to go all the way outside the zone. Whitney Naslin's going to take it now for the Blades. And pass almost intercepted there. Went through everybody, and as a result, that's going to be icing. So as a result, that is going to be faceoff brought all the way back to the Boston zone. Just under four and a half minutes left to go in period number one. Right now it's the Toronto Furies one and the Boston Blades one. Faceoff back in the Blades zone. And faceoff won by Toronto back to the point. Hoffmeyer was going to get it. Prevost has it now. Hoffmeyer with it now. Tries a centering pass in front, and they try to redirect, chipped off, went off somebody's shoulder, then went back toward the point, kept in though by Hoffmeyer, but then it's taken out. Here we go, Koizumi's got it. Tries to get through two Furies, can't do it. And Hoffmeyer will just skate it through center ice now, over the red line, just chips it back into the Boston zone over the red, blue line. Naslin's got it now. And she tries to get it up to Koizumi. And the Blades look to clear. 
Peroff has it now. She might be catching uh, the blades on a bit of a line change. She's going wide, left face off circle, going behind the net. Tries the centering pass in front. Oh, and they couldn't get it. They tried to get it to uh, Kohan Chuck, but she just couldn't put it on net. Kohan Chuck has it now. Puts a shot on net, and the save by Alyssa Frumkin, who was able to get the pads down in time. Three minutes, 42 seconds left to go in the first period so far. Blades and the Furies, one goal apiece. Face off once again in the Boston zone. Nice save there by the Boston netminder, Alyssa Fromkin. And face off won by Boston. Won by Cardella back to Blake Bolden now. Tries to pass it along the boards, and it goes up to Casey Pickett. She can't clear it though. She tried to go off the boards, but it was fielded there by uh, Bolden once again for the Toronto Furies. Knocked down there is Drew Burns, no call. Goes past Cardella. Bolden's got it now, pass to Burns. And Burns just tries to chip it off, almost, almost decapitates the poor uh, referee. And it goes back into the uh, Toronto zone now. And being ridden off the puck there was Bonello. Nice uh, forward checking there, I believe that was Kelly Cook. Goes around the boards now for Casey Pickett. Pickett back to Bolden, Bolden chips it, looking for Cook, maybe a redirect. And uh, Toronto's able to get a stick to it and, stick, and basically just chop it out of the zone. Chop back in though by Boston, they'll change up right now. The only uh, Boston player out there at the moment is Pickett. But Boston gets their line change right now. A little bit of unsure puck handling in their own zone by Toronto. Could come back to bite him. Lannis has it now over to Wolfowler. Wolfowler with a shot and the save by Small. Pass back to Taverna. Taverna. Stop the uh, breakaway by Allen, at least for a little bit. Allen now has it in front of the puck. Uh, uh, front, oh, a backhander, she scores! Bad puck handling at the point in the offensive zone. Came back all the way. And they were trying to hold her up, but she was able to get it right in. As a result, the goal will go to Toronto. Number two, Julie Allen gets the marker. And with 2.33 left to go, Toronto regains the lead. An even strength goal for Toronto. And uh, errors in puck handling came back to burn the blades on that one. They'll face it off once again. Control to take the face off. She's in between Lannis and Wolfweiler. Defense right now to Verna and Dostal. And face off one by Boston. Pass by uh, Dostal goes right through Taverna's legs. And it was Allen, and the goal is unassisted, so it was a heck of a, an effort, too, by the uh, Toronto player. Play is in the Boston zone now, trying to get it out of the zone, not succeeding. Couple of the blades. Shot goes in, almost in on Frumpkin. I believe it went off the side of the net. And they try and get it up to Wolfheimer now, actually chipped out by Taverna. And Marson's going to give it uh, a bit of a chase. Molson's there as well. And Lon is doing a nice little bit of job, a uh, nice little bit of forechecking there. And they're trying to bring it out now. And with it is Carrie Matamo. She's got to go already. Just puts a weak dribbler in on, Wolf, on um, Frumpkin, who's able to then uh, get down there and stop it and get the face off. Minute 51 left to go in the period. Toronto right now leading Boston two to one. And a quick uh, observation here at the rink. Darn, those french fries smell good. Face off one by Boston, they try and chip it around the boards but kept in there, Megan Arts has it now for Toronto in the right wing corner. In there as well, that's uh, Wilson. Hoffmeyer, he has, has it from the, uh, the right point. Back in now to Arts once again. Shot by uh, Bonella. I believe it went off a skate in front, and trying to get it out right now is uh, Jillian Dempsey. Gets it to Koizumi, two on one if Buser can get there. Koizumi, pass gets through to Buser, Buser, score! The Blades give one up, but they get one right back. Nice job there. Koizumi set up Buser. Buser went stick handle happy and put it right past the goaltender, small. And once again, we are tied here at the Rodman Arena in Walpole. That's Buser from Koizumi on that goal. And we're knotted up into a piece. That's how these two teams were yesterday going into overtime. Blades coming out with a three to two shootout win, courtesy of the stick of Rachel Lannis. 80 ticks left in the first period. We'll see what happens here. Obviously both these teams right now have the same point total in the standings. Boston's got the slight edge because they have more wins, but they're both at 18 points. 
which might be the hottest race right now in the CWHL, seeing as Montreal is running away with everything. Face off. That's Cardella winning the face off, getting it back to Blake Bolden. Tries to get it over to a Kelly Cook, but the pass goes a little too far. Taken there by Zamora. Gets it over to Molson. Goes out now, chipped back in there by Drew Burns. Minute six left. And let's see, Cook and Pickett for checking. Pickett is able to get it. Tries to get it to Cook along the boards now. And uh, trying to send it there is Cardella. She's still kind of sort of got it, but she's got a couple of players on her. Bolden comes down to help out. And here comes Toronto. Moving with it there. Pass goes over to Molson from Chevry. And then Molson just chips it into the Boston zone. Giving chase there and fielding it is Drew Burns. Goes onto the stick of Casey Pickett. Pickett gets it to Cardella. Cardella harassed there, but she's almost able to get it to Cook, but Molson just got a stick in the way. Nice little move by Cardella, but uh, unfortunately, in doing that move, she lost command of the puck. With it now, Drew Burns behind her own net goes back to Blake Bolden. Then uh, she tries to go up the boards to Ashley Cottrell. Cottrell has it now. And a loose puck goes out. Wolf has got it. She's over the blue line. One against two. Right face off circle. And the shot. And I believe it was going wide anyway, but I think uh, Small got a piece of it. Just about 10 seconds left to go in this first period. And it looks like this period will end a deadlocked beauty. Three, two, one. Sound the horn as they battle for it against the boards. That'll do it for period number one. Early on, Toronto gets one on the power play. Blades get one back. Then a little bit of a puck handling error bring, uh, leads to Toronto bringing it back and getting their second goal. But then, beautiful, beautiful play between Jessica Koizumi and Kate Buser. They get that goal right back. And at the end of one, the score stands at Toronto Furies 2 and the Boston Blades 2. Coming up next, we'll bring you second period action. You're watching the Boston Blades and the Toronto Fury right here at Rodman Arena in Walpole. And you're watching it on New England Hockey Showcase. for the second period of action here between the Boston Blades and the Toronto Furies here on a Sunday afternoon at Rodman Arena in Walpole, Massachusetts, where the score currently stands, the Boston Blades and the Toronto Furies tied up at two apiece. And getting set to uh, face this one off once again, it's Buser, Dempsey, and Koizumi up front for the Blades. And face off one by the Blades, goes back to Drew Burns, over to Blake Bolden now. Bolden, it chips off the uh, stick of Jess Koizumi, Goes all the way into the net, and uh, Small is able to chip it aside. And let's see. Battle behind the Toronto net with it now is Dempsey. Dempsey over to Buser. Now, Buser with a shot in. We've got a whistle as the shot goes off the side of the Toronto net. I believe the net uh, came off the moorings. Then they're going to put it back in uh, place. Uh, early on in the first period, they had a little uh, bit of an issue with that, uh, that one staying in place, too. Faceoff will be in the Toronto zone. Kate Buser out there to take it for the Blades. And it's won by Toronto. They get it over to Marson. Looking to try and chip it out now. It's in the left wing corner. Dempsey fighting for it. Also Buser. And uh, coming in with it. Buser in front. Oh, tries to uh, put it in. Rebound. Went off small and then drifted right into a spot where there were no Blades. And it comes up now through center ice. With it now it's Cohan Chuck for Toronto. Goes wide, going to the back boards, trying to get around Drew Burns. Just a backhand pass now. Over to Balden. Back to Marson now. Tried to get it to Chevry, but then it's knocked out by the Blades. All the way down to the Toronto zone, giving chase there is Shannon Molson. In there as well as Kelly Cook. Cook gets there, gets the puck. Boston, meanwhile, in a change. And Cohan Chuck tries to get it out. It's kept in by Cardella. Shot there, and uh, Cook is knocked off the puck. And it comes back through now. Cardella's got it. Over to uh, Kohan Chuck now. She's got it by herself in the Boston zone as Toronto changes up. 
Pass goes around the way. And over to Cardona now, but then she's broken up by Carrie Matamo. And with it now is Arts, Megan Arts for the Toronto Furies. Left wing boards, holding, puts it toward the net. Knocked away by the stick of Christy Jensen. Play continues in the Boston zone, Cardella. Pass behind the net there, looking for Naslin. Pass going for Cook, almost intercepted there. That could have been dangerous. Toronto able to get it out of danger though. But then it's stolen by Pickett. Pickett back to Naslin now. Try and get it back up to Pickett, but it's stolen by Arts. Right wing corner now, Toronto still with it. Back to the point, shot goes in, and the save there, knocked away by the stick of uh, Alyssa Frompkin. Shot there by Zamora, Zamora's got it once again, high in the slot, nice block there by Kelly Cook. And it goes to the back boards now, with it there is Jensen. Tries to scale it around the boards looking for somebody, but she winds up getting it to Bonello of Toronto. Back pass from her and then going up, Blades try and chip it out. Cardella's got it now, she does a little bit of a spinorama trying to get around Mullen. And then it's chipped into the zone by Pickett. And trying to get it right now is Wolfire, which is taken away by Zamora. Intercepted by Lannis. Lannis tried to get it to Wolfire. Wolfire wasn't expecting it. Went behind her. And with it now, oh, that's a trip, and that's going to be a, no, actually, might have, nope, there we go. I didn't see an armor initially. I thought they might have gotten away with one, but nope. <laughs> that's definitely going to be called. As a result, Alyssa Wolfiler will be going to the box for two minutes. The call will be tripping. And Toronto has their second power play opportunity of the game. Faceoff in the Boston zone. And with it now is uh, Bolden off the faceoff, won by Boston. Bolden has it now, pass over to uh, Kohan Chuck. Kohan Chuck with a shot. Nice save out there. It's actually a stop in front, shot blocked by Jess Koizumi. Goes back down to the point over to Chevry now. Chevry's got it. Backhanded pass there, going to Bonello. Bonello tries to put it in for a redirect attempt by Kohan Chuck. She just couldn't connect. And now it'll be chipped out of the zone by Kate Buser. Goes back into the Toronto zone. And Bonello has it now. She just skates it around the net, gets the pass off to Kohan Chuck. That pass goes off now to Chevry. She's got it over the blue line, going into the left wing uh, faceoff circle and then scales it around the boards. Bolden's got it now on the right wing side. Kept in by Kohan Chuck and then knocked out. All the way down the ice. Minute six left to go in the penalty. Boston shorthanded. Alyssa Wolfiler out for, um, yep, she's out for tripping. Wilson's got it now, gets over the blue line. Going wide, trying to set up Arts in front, can't do it. Puck is blocked, being checked heavily there. Nice job there, but I believe that's a, that's a Drew Burns. And now on the boards, I get it to Benello now at the left point. Over to the right point now to Molson. Molson puts it right in through the slot and it goes just wide of the net. In front, loose puck. Oh my goodness, right on the doorstep there was Katie Wilson. And the Blades were able to scale it out of danger. Oh my goodness. Fortune smiling on the Blades for sure there. But the Blades now change out the PK. Shot goes in, and it's wide of the net. Taken by Megan Arts. Well wide to the short side. Loose puck, short-handed, and right now it's Kelly Cook. Cook goes in, takes a shot, and goes off the post. Kelly Cook just hit the post short-handed. With it now is Cardella. Cardella scales it around the boards. Once again, they're taking more time off this penalty. In fact, this penalty is now done. Both teams back at even strength. Nice job there by the Boston PK. Almost cashed one in shorthanded. Now they've got it up to uh, Pickett. Back now to Taverna. Taverna skates through center ice, tries to get the pass. Nice interception there by Benella, but then she can't carry it away, and uh, Wolfauer has it. Chipped deeper into the zone now by Pickett. Kept in. Pass going behind uh, Cottrell. Going back there for it now is Wolfauer. In front, Jensen's got it now. She chips it behind the net. Cottrell, Lannis, bunch of banging along the ice there. And having it taken away there was Peroff. Goes right through Wolfiler, and here come the Furies with it now. Peroff once again gets it up to Prevost. Prevost tries to uh, center it a little bit. That's knocked away by Whitney Naslin. And let's see, backboards, Rachel Lannis chipping it over to Wolfiler. Wolfiler just a backhanded pass, winds up on the stick of Ashley Cottrell, and the Blaze bring it out once again. And they're just going to scale it into the Toronto zone whilst they go off the ice and get a bunch of uh, new legs out there. 
Prevost has it now through center ice, gets over the blue line, then it's harassed heavily, and the puck is going to just drift in on the goaltender, Alyssa Fromkin, and she's going to stop it and tie it for a faceoff. Thirteen fifty-five left to go. Boston Blades getting past that power play opportunity, that uh, short-handed opportunity, I should say. Toronto not able to convert on the power play. Face off in the Boston zone. 2-2 right now between the Blades and the Furies. Shot goes in just over the glove of Alyssa Frumpkin, and for that matter, just over everything else. That one was airmailed right over the crossbar. Cross ice pass in front of the net. Those can be dangerous. You got to watch out for those. And just a blind pass up, looking for uh, Shannon De uh, Shannon Mahoney. Puck now at center ice. Chipped out, goes on Rambo's stick. She can't quite get it into the Toronto zone. Rambo loses her stick now. And with it, that's Mullen. Mullen with a shot. Nice block there. And then Mullen tried to get the rebound. It was skated out of danger. I believe that was Maggie Taverna. And now with it, here comes Buser. Buser on the way down. Buser with a shot. And the save there by the goaltender, Sammy Joe Small. Toronto now looking to uh, grab it. And we've got a, face, uh, a whistle here. Obviously an ensuing faceoff, as I believe that went offside. As a result, we are going to get a faceoff just outside the Toronto blue line. And Buser wins it, but wins it back to nobody as it goes between Taverna and uh, Dostal. Going in, trying to get it there was uh, Janelle Cohan, Chuck. Furies have it now. Chevry's got it. Tries a backhanded centering pass. Winds up being knocked away. And here come the Blades. Dempsey's got it right now, skating through center ice. She's over the blue line. And then uh, it's knocked away. Nice job there by the Furies. Nice back checking. Baldwin's got it now. Gets it over to Cohan, Chuck at center ice. But then she's broken up by Dempsey and Dostal. And Dempsey going to four check. Actually breaks up the puck on Molson. Nice job there. Dempsey's got it deep in the Toronto zone. Then Baldwin tries to clear it, tries to get it up to Chevry, and the puck's going to wind up back out of the zone, back at center ice. Passed over now, over to uh, Christy Jensen. And it's chipped in, just a weak shot there by Koizumi. And it's going to stop, and uh, Small is just going to uh, sit down and uh, get that one to uh, stop. Basically, she'll get the face off in her zone. With 12.14 left to go in the second period. So far, nothing, not, I'm sorry, 2-2 two -two between the... Uh, Blades and the Furies, nothing, nothing so far in this period, but uh, it's 2-2 overall, face-off won by Toronto once again, and uh, Benello looking to take it out, Benello now taking it uh, from a pass and then gets it back, she's able to get it over the blue line, but then she's being harassed heavily by Whitney Naslin, taken all the way down to the corner, Naslin's got the puck behind her own net, she's trying to skate it out now, and a pass goes over to uh, somebody, and uh, let's see here, uh, that's, uh, with it now is Kelly Cook, Cook with a shot, and she puts it high! Bit of a high shot there. Blades, though, are on the march. And let's see, we've got uh, a player down. It looks like we're going to have a roughing call. Or a body checking call or some type of, some type of contact. But it looks like uh, we might be getting a fury sent to the box. Exhibiting a little too much fury, perhaps. Indeed, that is the case. That's going to be um, Michelle Bonello. She's off for two minutes, so as a result, that means that the Boston Blades will have their first power play of the second period. Our second power play overall. Didn't score in the first one. Almost had a shorthanded marker earlier this period. With it now off the faceoff one by Boston was uh, Dostal. Tries to get it over now to Berman. Berman back to Kira Dostal now. Goes over to Pickett. Pickett's got it. Pickett skating along uh, just outside the top of the slot by the blue line. With it now is Berman. Berman puts it in and it's blocked by Molson. And then, oh, that had to hurt. <laughs> that went out Berman. And then Berman tried to get to the puck. And we've got a little bit of a conflagration here. It started, Berman tried to keep the puck from going out of the zone and, and got hit pretty hard, hard with it, and then collided with one of the uh, Fury's players. Looks like uh, we'll be losing uh, one of each. I think Berman's gonna go and Molson's gonna go. So two players get in the gate here. It's gonna be uh, Berman and it will be uh, Shannon Molson. So as a result, looks like we're going to be, uh, just have to double check here. Oh, uh, no, actually, they're coincidental minors, so they cancel out. So it's not four on three. It's still going to be five on four. But the important part is the blade's still on the power play for another minute and 35 seconds. Face-off coming. Uh, let's see where they're calling for it. They're gathering inside the Boston zone, but then the referee out here is uh, holding her arm up, and I think they're going to face it off at center ice. Indeed, they are. But the important thing is Boston's still on the power play. It's going to be a five on four, though, not a four on three. 
And face-off won by Boston. Back to Drew Burns. Back to Bolden. Back to Burns now. Burns pass through center ice. Gets it to Koizumi. Pass over the blue line to Dempsey. Dempsey right wing face-off circle. Dempsey trying to pass it over. Couldn't get the connection with Koizumi. Koizumi just couldn't get the stick on it. Otherwise, she had a loose puck in an open side. Another big opportunity for the Blades that they could not convert. Earlier this period, Kelly Cook had a great opportunity shorthanded, but put it off the post. Bolden has it now, and once again, here they go. Blades streaking into the zone. Buser's got it now. Tries to get it to a redirect for Bolden. And it once again goes wide of the net. Burns now from the point. That goes well wide. The only player near it was uh, Marson for the uh, Furies. Nice clearing attempt there. Stopped. And the Blades will press. Koizumi's got it now. Koizumi pass over to Dempsey. Dempsey moving high in the slot. Shot in. And it uh, gets tied up there. And now it goes loose and goes out to the side. Dempsey's got it once again. Goes back to the point now. That's Blake Bolden with it again. Bolden's got a goal. Tries to pass over to Koizumi. Tries a, tries a tic-tac-toe in front. They just couldn't get the puck to Buser. Burns has it now. Back to Bolden again. Bolden over to Koizumi. A little bit hard, though, but she's able to corral it after the bounce. Burns then pass over. Sharp pass to Buser. Buser being harassed, gets the puck now back to Burns, the point. Burns with a shot in, goes off of Dempsey, Dempsey takes a shot, and where did it go? <laughs> that wound up under, people were chilling, looking, where did that go? <laughs> right under the goaltender, Sammy Joe Small, big save on the power play. 16 seconds left to go on the Toronto advantage. That was a big shot in, and everyone was like, huh? Stayed out, though. Face off one once again by Boston Lannis. Gets it over. Shot by Naslund. Trickles a little bit. Oh, well, Wolfauer couldn't get the rebound in front. And it's going to be cleared up. But once again, stopping it at center there. That's Naslund. Now drop pass from Wolfauer over to Lannis. Lannis streaking over. Two seconds. One second. We're back at even strength. They've got to watch out for the player coming out of the penalty box here. With it now is Lannis. Pass. Oh, to Naslund. Naslund had her stick taken, taken away by Bonello. The player coming out of the penalty box. I hate it when I'm psychic. Backboards now with it there is, uh, once again, that's uh, Cohan Chuck. In front of the net now, Boston right now mounting an attack, trying to take their first lead of the afternoon. Toronto trying to move it out. Prevost trying to get it with it now is Cottrell. Cottrell tries to put it in for Wolfiler. And it's uh, skated away there by Zamora. And oh, trying to get in and uh, take a piece of that was Kelly Cook, but that wasn't happening. But Jensen has it now. Blades trying to move fast and catch Toronto on a line change. But the puck misses everything. They call icing. Cardella has a little bit of an issue. As the players go back to the Boston zone, it looks like uh, the question on Jill Cardella's mind is, huh? Apparently not agreeing with the call on the ice, but uh, nonetheless it is called icing and as a result the faceoff will be in the Boston zone. Nine minutes left in the second period, 2-2 so far, Boston and Toronto. Puck now after the uh, faceoff chipped up to, Mar to Marson who now puts it deep into the Boston zone. And they try and uh, push it around the boards now, and now Toronto does and try and get it over to Allen. Allen's got a goal. Uh, Jensen fighting with Allen for the puck. Allen's got it now. Back to the point now to Molson. Tries to get it to Allen, goes right through Allen's legs. Cardella has it now for the Blades. And Cardella just tries to put it up off the glass, kept in by Julie Allen. But then a drop pass taken by the Blades, and here we go on the run. Casey Pickett going wide on the right wing. Staying wide, stopping until she gets some help, gets it back to Dostal now. Dostal puts it in toward the net. Nice block by Molson, caught it right off the knees. And Taverna loses the puck, and Toronto chips it right through, but back there is Dostal. She'll field it cleanly. Gets around Mullen, and the pass goes in now. And going down with it, that's Koizumi. Tries to get it over to Dempsey. Dempsey's got it now. A little bit of confusion in the Toronto zone. However, Cohen Chuck's got it now. And she's able to just turn the corner and get out with it. She's through center ice over the blue line now. Three on two for the moment. And she's in the right wing faceoff circle. And let's see. She's still holding it. Tries to pass it. Shot in from the point. Loose. Rebound, I believe. It might have gotten to uh, Wolf. Uh, I'm sorry, not Wolf. Uh, Frompkin once again. i got to get my Alyssa straight today. 7.43 left to go in the second period. So far, still 2-2. And uh, puck chipped out and all held up. Almost uh, running with it there was Dempsey, but she was held up at the last minute. But nice back checking there. Jillian Dempsey trying to get the puck away from Lexi Hoffmeyer. Winds up going back into the Boston zone. And uh, gets chipped up and just stays in play. Then knocked back into the zone by Hoffmeyer. Trying to keep it in there now is Corey Chevry for the Furies. 
Maggie Taverna with it now for the Blades. Pass goes off, a little bit of a tic-tac-toe. Goes past Dempsey, though. Dempsey has to catch up with it. She tries to get it up to Koizumi, but it's picked off by Wilson, who gets it over to Arts now. Goes wide, shot goes in, and the pad save there. It might have been the blocker save from the goaltender, Frompkin. Arts has it now. She's taken down. Bunch of players along the backboards trying to get it, and they put it in towards the net. There was a huge pile, and Frompkin goes down and ties everything up. And once again, we do have a face-off in the Boston zone. Nice play bear there by the Boston Blades netminder, Alyssa Frompkin. Still 2-2 between Toronto and Boston. 6.48 left to go in the second period. And faceoff goes back to the point. Vanella with it now. Puts it deep, looking for Arts. Winds up being picked off there by Drew Burns. Wilson in there as well. A couple of blades and a couple of furies. And with it now, as the puck gets loose, is Rachel Lanis. Lanis tries to pass up, and it goes off of Wolfiler. Cottrell tries to chip it up to a streaking Blake Bolden. Couldn't do it, but Burns has it now. Burns gets it to Wolfiler, and it goes uh, into the Toronto zone. Bolden's got it right now, and she's able to still carry it. Right face off circle now. Oh, tough angle shot. She tried to get it to a, uh, for a redirect attempt by Lanis. Couldn't do it. Jensen now is able to chip it to the uh, opposite boards. Toronto once again, trying to work with it. Wilson's got it now, streaks over the blue line. And the shot goes in, and the save by Frompkin. Just gets it in the bread basket, ties it up, and we'll have another faceoff in the Boston zone. Still 2-2. Two -two. Once again, faceoff won by the Blades. One by Cardella. They try and bring it out now. With it is Pickett. Pickett, along with Cook. They're streaking. Oh, Cook can't get it back to Pickett, though. But Cook is able to get possession of it. Once again, she gets it back to Naslin at the point, who chips it ahead. It's taken there by Pickett. And then she loses the puck. And they're trying to chip it out right now. Goes to uh, Peroff now. Tries to get it over to Vela. And giving chase there is Whitney Naslin, who uh, looks to uh, take the puck out of her own zone. Stops short on Vela there, but then can't get the puck past Peroff. And here come the Blades with it once again. Moving out. Pass hits a streaking Cook. Here comes Cook once again with Cardella and Pickett. Pass over. Oh, they couldn't get it to Pickett. Molson got in the way of that pass and chipped it wide. And here they come once again. The Furies, that is. Naslin's got it now. She chips it back into the zone. And the Blades will use that opportunity. Chains out, get some fresh legs. Five minutes left to go in the second period. Still knotted two apiece. And we'll have an icing call, which means the action will be brought back all the way down to the Toronto zone. Tight one here in the second period. 4.56 left now. Still knotted two and two between Toronto and Boston. Don't forget, we are on the web. If you're watching this on TV, you can watch us online as well. It's NewEnglandHockeyShowcase.com. Buser wins the faceoff, gets it back to Dostal and Taverna, but they are... Uh, run over themselves basically trying to keep it in the zone as a result Prevost is able to clear it puck back into the uh, Toronto zone now with it is Shannon Molson Molson loses it Buescher has it and the shot goes off the side of the net Buescher will never see a better pass than that and then uh, Dempsey tries to chip it to Koizumi but it winds up going off the side of the net Cohan Chuck there checked by Dempsey Dempsey's got it now after the pass by Buescher they try to get it to Koizumi who's in front but the puck was ridden away from her Nice job by Taverna. Went down, was on her knees, but was still able to get that puck away from a streaking Chevry and get it back into the Toronto zone. And it's going out now, and let's see how far it goes. There's a race for it. No icing. And uh, the pass now, Blaze trying to come out with it. Heavy four check, though, from Toronto. User being harassed quite a bit. Taverna's got it now. Over to Dostal. Gets it to uh, Koizumi now, and Koizumi just backhands it into the Toronto zone, where it's a uh, stop there, at least momentarily. Nice job there by uh, Marson. And let's see, Kohan Chuck's got it. To, oh, Dempsey tried to move in, but she lost her balance. 
And the battle for it in the Toronto zone goes back out to center ice. With it now is Ashley Cottrell, who brings it right back in for the Blades. Right face-off circle, tries to skate through three Toronto players, is able to get a weak shot off on net, and as a result, we'll have another face-off in the Boston zone. 3.32 left to go in period number two. Boston Blades, Toronto Furies here at Rodman Arena in Walpole. You're watching it right here on New England Hockey Showcase. Now the face-off won by Toronto. Goes back into the right-wing corner. They chip it all the way around the boards. Comes out now and uh, winds up on the stick of uh, Carrie Matamo, who clears it all the way down. But they're saying she could have gone faster after it, so they uh, wave off the icing as it goes all the way down the ice. Battle for it now on the back boards. And the Blades have it now. With it there is Bolden. Bolden tries to get a pass off and it winds up on the stick, almost on the stick of Alyssa Wolfiler. Taking it now is Arts. Chipped away, race for the puck, wide into the right wing boards. Taking it there, that's uh, Katie Wilson. And then we've got uh, the arm up. And I believe we're going to have a call for some more rough stuff. Looks like it'll be one of the blades getting the gate. And I believe it's going to be Blake Bolden. Indeed it is. Bolden sits for two. So Toronto will have another power play opportunity with uh, just under three minutes left to go in the period. Face off one by the Blades. Okay, it's a body checking penalty against Blake Bolden. And now the uh, Blades are shorthanded, but they've got the puck in the Toronto zone and Koizumi battling for it. Not in a very good position to take a shot, but she's still eating some time off of that penalty clock. With it now is Wilson. Wilson going wide. Katie Wilson for the Toronto Furies. She stops there at the right wing boards. Looks to pass it. Pass to Molson, although it's tipped a little bit there. By Cottrell. I'm sorry, that's Koizumi. Shot now in by Hoffmeyer. Goes wide. Comes around the near boards. Pass back to Hoffmeyer now. Hoffmeyer looking for a, shoot, uh, for a shot opportunity somewhere. Koizumi ready to block. Shot goes in and it goes uh, well wide of the short side. Backboards now, with it is Taverna. Taverna tries to get along the boards. Winds up being blocked by Megan Arts and it's kept in. Pass over, oh, they tried to get it but they couldn't get it to uh, Carrie Matamo. Shot goes in, another shot in, and a save there by uh, Alyssa Frumpkin. And it's just cleared out by one of the blades all the way down the length of the ice. You gotta be careful of this, they're changing up penalty killers, but meanwhile, Molson's already got it. She's on the blue line now. PK player still coming on. And the Blades have it now. With it is Cardella. Cardella stops a little bit to gain herself some time. And then just weakly backhands it into the Toronto zone. Going for it right now is uh, Prevost. Who then streaks out of the zone, goes for center ice, just catches up with the puck now. She stops, looking for some targets. Pass over to Kohanchuk now. Kohanchuk, shot in. Oh, they tried to do a little tic-tac-toe in front of the net. But the Blades get in the way. 21 seconds left to go on the penalty. Still kept in though, Toronto's Cohen Chuck kept it in there for Balden now. Balden tried to put it through and uh, tried to get it over to uh, Bonello, but nice job by the Blades blocking that one. Coming out now, six seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Out comes Balden. And with it right now, that's uh, Chevry. Chevry moves in, the shot, that's saved by Wolfauer. Then after that, Chevry's momentum continues, takes her right into the uh, Fromkin and also the net, which gets blasted off the moorings. Forty-nine point six seconds left in the uh, period. Two-two right now between the Blades and the Furies. Hard-fought second period. Face off just outside the Boston zone. Uh, yeah, just outside the Boston zone, outside the blue line. Zamora taking it against Cottrell. Cottrell wins it back to Blake Bolden now. Bolden gets it over to Drew Burns. Burns pass up to Lannis. Loose puck there, stolen by Bonella, but then Bonello loses the puck. And she down chips it back into the Boston zone. And it looks like Burns will be the first to get there. Tries to scale it around the boards, looking for Cottrell. Loose puck there. Lannis able to chip it out. And we've got a loose puck and a break. Rachel Lannis moving in. But, oh, she can't hold on to the puck. Once again, a good opportunity, but they just couldn't convert. Burns has it now. Burns moving in, takes a shot, and a glove save there by Small. Just under 20 seconds left, 19.2 to be exact. 
And barring a quick bing bang here, it looks like we're going to go into the second intermission, still knotted at two. Just a reminder, after this, the uh, Blades are on the road for a bit, but then they are coming back to town. It'll be, I believe, the third weekend in March. They'll be at Merrimack College for a couple of games against this very same Toronto Furies club. Toronto winning the faceoff in their own zone. Taken away by Koizumi. Nice job there. Pass in front. Oh, they tried to get it to, Ko to Abuser, but they just couldn't get it to Abuser being held up by the Toronto defense. Molson has it now. Molson chips it up, past the stick of Cohan Chuck. Taken there by Bolden, chipped back toward the Boston zone. Stopped by Molson. That's going to do it. Second period has ended. And we're in the same situation we were at the end of the first period. Knotted up. Score two. After two, I should say. The Toronto Furies two and the Boston Blades two. Coming up next, we've got third period action. You'll watch it right here on New England Hockey Showcase. are back on the ice and we're preparing for the third period of action between the Boston Blades and the Toronto Furies. At the second intermission, the score stands the Furies 2 and the Blades 2. Yesterday, Ford ended up in regulation, 2-2. Two -two. Wound up going to overtime and then a shootout and Rachel Lannis with the winning shot in the fourth round of the shootout to give the Blades the victory. Both of these teams right now knotted up for second place. Technically, the Blades are a little in front because they've got more wins, but they're still both at 18 points apiece. They got it set for the uh, face-off now for the uh, third period. Coming out, Kate Buser will be going up against Alyssa Balden. In between, I think uh, what they're doing right now is just discussing with the referee their love for Guns N' Roses. Welcome to the jungle, gang. After this, I mentioned before, we have two games left, March 15th and 16th. That's the uh, last home stand of the regular season for the Boston Blades. Those will be at Merrimack College, and they will feature the Boston Blades hosing, hosting the very team you see here. Although, <laughs> I guess you could say hosing too if you want to see them win, but uh, if you want to see the, the opposing team get hosed, I guess that would be okay. But I meant to say hosting the Toronto Furies. How much of this stuff is going to get edited out in the end anyway? So it's Buser and Baldwin getting set to uh, take the face off and kick off this third period. And here we go, one by the Blades. However, chipped way back into the Boston zone, giving chase there as Drew Burns, Blake Bolden has it now, but then she's broken up by Chevry. Here come the Blades with it now, moving with it, that's uh, Blake Bolden, gets it over to Kate Buser. Buser stays on side, gets it to Bolden. Bolden going wide a little bit, puts it toward the net. Buser with the opportunity, and we've got a quick whistle there. As there was a quick scoring opportunity between the uh, couple of the Boston Blades, however, the net was knocked off the moorings. I think it's the fourth time we've seen that today. I think we've seen like a couple on either side. So they've got it back on the pegs. Now they take the face off in the Toronto zone. And it's won by Toronto. Get over to the corner now, and there is a Hoffmeyer. She tries to ship it out along the boards to Chevry. And Buser's in there now. Coming out with it now, that's Balden. Walden moving it through into the Boston zone, but it's going to chip off the boards, go right in on Frompkin, and she will tie it up there and get the faceoff. So the faceoff will now come into the Boston zone as both teams change out. Boston Blaze, Toronto Furies on a Sunday afternoon here in Walpole, Massachusetts. You're watching it on a New England Hockey Showcase. Faceoff won by Jill Cardella. She gets it back to Blake Bolden, who now tries to move it up. Gets it to a streaking Casey Pickett at center, but uh, she can't hold on to it. Molson chips it up ice now. Tried to get it to Wilson. With it, here comes Pickett once again. A little bit of puck tennis here at center ice. Pickett going wide, able to get around Arts. Moving up on the left wing boards. Getting around the net, streaking, turning the Jets on. Hands it off now to Cardella. Cardella holding. Back to the point now. 
over to Naslin now. Naslin puts it in toward the net. Cardella tried to redirect, but it wind up going well wide. And Cardella does keep it in, though. Trying to chip it out there is Wilson. She's able to get it over to Molson. Gets it out to Megan Arts now, and she's able to get it out of the zone. Chip back into the Boston end of the building. And giving chase there is Christy Jensen as both teams change up. Jensen, though, being uh, harassed quite a bit by Wilson, then taken down. No call on the play. Puck goes uh, momentarily into the Toronto zone where it's taken there by Michelle Bonella. Then knocked back into the Boston zone. Wilson's got it there. Checked by Jensen. Naslin's in there as well. Naslin trying to get the puck away. And it's a uh, chip down. Oh, loose puck in front. Oh, that was a big giveaway. And Frompton came up huge with that save. Trying to chip it ahead now. That's Wolfiler. Coming in, though. That's Prevost. Coming into the corner. Stop short. She's got uh, Julie Allen in there as well. Centering pass up that slot. And, oh, coming in. That one goes wide. I believe it was uh, Peroff may have gotten a shot off. But then the uh, rebound attempt went wide. Shot there by Bonello. Goes all the way in. Pat save. Another pad save by Frompton. Two in a row. And here come the Blades with it now. Three on two for the moment. That's Cottrell off of Linus' stick. Wolfiler's got it now. Wolfiler moves in, goes wide. Tries a pass, but nobody in front there to pick up the other part of it. Taken away, skated out by Michelle Bonello. Bonello, actually, of the Toronto Furies. And she just puts it back into the Boston zone. But then almost taken away. Nice job there by Kira Dostal. Gets it over just past Buser, though. Going to wind up going into the Toronto zone. Hoffmeyer's got it now for the uh, Toronto club. And she passes it up, and here come the Furies once again. Shot goes in, that goes well wide off the stick of Lisa Mullen. And goes behind the net now. Goes past Mullen, with it now is Kira Dostal. Pass up to Koizumi, kicks it up to herself. Nice job there. That, that loose puck there, able to kick it up to her stick. Kick it up to the forehand and then move it through. But as I get it right into the Toronto zone, it's about to come back out. Although a nice job back checking there by Kate Buser on uh, Vela, on uh, Jessica Vela. Koizumi's got it now. She goes deep, gets it over to Dempsey. Couple of the blades change out. Toronto moving with it now. And it chips ahead. And oh, it goes right behind Koizumi. She wasn't aware of it. She was coming out for a change. Bolden's got it now. Bolden, pass up, goes off the stick of Cook. Winds up in Cardella's possession momentarily. And then Toronto knocks it out. Nice ship ahead by Bolden, though. They're on side. Cardella's going to move it over. She's got Cook. Cook's got it now. Cook up the slot. And the blocker saved there by Small. Bolden's got it now. Bolden with a shot in. And uh, that one's knocked aside as well. Coming out with it now. That's uh, Bolden once again. Puck is at center ice. Cardella's got it now. Cardella, she's on side. Moving in, right face off circle. Forced to go wide. Looking for some help. Tried to get it in front, but there was nobody there set up in the slot. Clearing attempt blocked by Drew Burns. She tries to maintain the possession for Boston. Can't do it. But then Bolden knocks it just back in. And uh, the Blades will try a hurried change up. And with it now is Chevry. Chevry does a nice job getting around Naslin. And pass over off the stick of Baldwin, but then winds up on the stick of Kohanchuk. She's going to move in. Tries to get it. Scores! All the way down the ice. Short side goal. Toronto takes the lead once again with 15.39 left to go in the third period. And I believe that's going to be a number 91, Janelle Kohanchuk. And I believe Baldwin's going to get the assist. We'll see how that scored, but uh, important thing is, third period, all of a sudden Toronto in front once again. They have not trailed to get today. They've either been tied or have led. Koizumi's got it now off the faceoff. Shot in, that's blocked. A nice job there, it's blocked off the leg by Kelly Zamora. Toronto trying to clear. Blocked in back of the net there by Julian Dempsey. Dempsey's got it now. Dempsey moves to the front of the net. Gets a shot off. Oh, blocker saved there by Small. The two times that the Toronto scored, Boston's got it back in short order. They're trying to do that once again right here. Buser's got it now. Buser, pass across ice. Over to Jensen. Jensen with a shot in. And that goes over everything. That's going to wind up out of play. Of course, the funny thing is, looking at the... Uh, Protective netting, there's a part of it that they have tied to the ceiling. And you got like four pucks stuck up there, dangling from the ceiling. Almost like when uh, they used to have the baseballs caught in the top of the green monster before the monster seats went in. 15.07 left in regulation. And Toronto once again with a one goal lead. They've had three of them today. one nothing, 2-1, and now 3-2.
Puck went, off of, went out of play off of a Toronto stick, so the faceoff will be outside the Tor Toronto blue line. Uh, I'm sorry, it went off a Boston stick, I should say. That's why it's outside the uh, Toronto zone. And let's see, uh, clearing attempt there. Nice try by Hoff Hoffmeyer, just trying to get it through somebody. Puck is at center ice now. Lost, Pickett's got it now. Pickett moves into the zone, just chips it deep. Giving chase there is Kelly Cook. And uh, Cardella's got it now. Yes. Shot in, oh, the save by Small once again. That was Pickett in close. And here we go. Fury's coming up the other end, and actually they're just going to dump it into the Boston zone and then get a quick change. With it now is Tavernish, she uh, curls short of the net and then passes over. And with it now, here comes Kelly Cook. Kelly Cook rushing over the blue line. Pass over to, oh, just a little too hard. Pickett couldn't hang on to it. She just passes it around the boards, but nobody there. So it looks like Toronto's going to come out with it rather easily. Pass goes off now. With it is Peroff. She gains the blue line. She goes in, gets a shot. It's going to go wide, though. I believe uh, Dostal might have gotten a stick on it and blocked it, at least deflected it. Peroff still with it. Puck chipped out. Berman about to give chase, but the Toronto defense pair is right there. That would be Marson and also Shannon Molson. Molson's got it right now. Molson passes over to Marson once again. And almost goes off of Lindsey Berman. Loose in the middle there. Berman tries to chip it ahead, as does Emma Rambo. And uh, going back right there, that uh, was chipped back there by Jordana Paroff once again. And uh, nice little sidestep, but then she loses the puck. But here comes Blake Bolden now. Bolden on the move. Can't keep the carry, though, as the puck just gets a little bit ahead of her. And now the pass goes up to Berman. Berman just uh, chips it into the Toronto zone while Boston gets some fresh legs out there. 13.25 left to go. Blades trail by a goal. Molson's got it now. Back over once again to Marson. Back to Molson. Molson's able to get the pass off. And with it now, that's Lisa Mullen. She's broken up, though, by Blake Bolden. And Bolden gets it to uh, Drew Burns. Burns pass off the board over to Koizumi now. Koizumi off the board for Dempsey. Dempsey's got it. Gets it over to Buser over the blue line. And Buser is brought up against the near boards. Coming out with it now, that's Jessica Vela for Toronto. Over to uh, Bonello now. And it's kept in the zone there by Whitney Naslin. With it now, that's Dempsey. Dempsey tries to get a pass over to Koizumi. Goes off Koizumi's skate. And uh, coming out with it now, once again, here comes Toronto. I believe that's Kelly Zamora with it. She's broken up. Nice back check there by Jess Koizumi. Puck cleared into the Boston zone. Jensen coming out with it right now. And uh, the Blades looking to rush. Gets the puck over. Tries to get it over to Buser. That was a pass from Koizumi. Little too much mustard on it. And now Naslin has to circle back at her own blue line. And uh, chip up once again. Pass attempt by Jensen. Just goes a little too far. Now the puck is scaled into the zone. Passed by Marson over to Lexi Hoffmeyer, who brings it through center ice now. Tries to pass up. It's intercepted by Buser. Then Dempsey. Cook's got it now. Cook goes wide. Cook gets it to the shooting part of the, the forehand, I should say. Every once in a while, you just look for the word, and the brain just won't access that part of the hard drive. Easy save, though. A pad save there by the uh, goaltender, Sammy Joe Small. With it once again, Toronto here in the Boston zone. Going wide with it there is Balden. Corner, being harassed there by Maggie Taverna. And the Blades have it now, they're moving it out, and with it is uh, Dostal now. Dostal best to uh, Cook, over to Pickett now. Pickett with a big shot in, and it's just snagged with the big catching glove of Sammy Joe Small. She'll hold on to it and get the face off in her zone. 11.29 left to go, 3-2 Toronto. This is gonna be another tight one yesterday. Blades led up until uh, three minutes left to go in the game, in the regulation, I should say. Toronto tied it, went to overtime, then shoot out, and Boston won it there. Boston's going to need some heroics here in the third period to tie this one up. And let's see, Rambo gets a little confused with the puck there, winds up losing it. Molson tries to get it into the zone now, and she does. Chips it in, but there it goes on the stick of Maggie Taverna. Gets it up to Rambo now. Rambo just scales it into the zone, but right onto the stick of Shannon Molson. Bounces off her stick. She has to go back to get it now along the back boards. Oh, kind of a careless pass there. Rambo almost got it. And Molson now. Pass over to Carrie Mat uh, Matamo. And Taverna going for Bolden. Winds up on Carrie Matamo's stick. And now Wilson with it. Score! Opportunity there. Boston had opportunities in that end of the ice in the second period, weren't able to convert. 
Wilson, though, able to get that right past the goaltender, Frompkin. And with 10.43 left, Toronto Furies have just doubled their lead. Goal there by number eight, that's Katie Wilson. Kind of a tough angle goal. And the faceoff once again from center ice, won by the Blades. They try and get it up to Koizumi, goes right through her, and it's going to be called for icing. So it'll be brought all the way back down to the Boston zone. Time gets more scarce and the lead gets bigger. Toronto right now up 4-2. Just about the halfway point of the third period. And the Blades need to get in gear and they need to do it right now. Buser taking the face off, winning it, but then it's taken away off the face off. Nice a little bit of forechecking there by uh, Jordana Parop once again. And Burns has it now. Over to Bolden now, back to Burns. Behind her own goal line. Pass up to Koizumi. A little too much mustard on the pass, though. Once again, bounces off her stick. She can't really carry it. Burns has it now. Over to Dempsey. Dempsey has it checked off of her stick. She's in the zone. She's got to clear it. She's not able to. It'll be offside. And the faceoff will be just outside of the Toronto blue line. Two goals for each club in the uh, first period, nothing in the second. Now two goals for Toronto in the third. That's where we stand right now. Furies four and the Blades two. And uh, after the faceoff, Buck uh, Battlefort center ice goes back into the Boston zone. With it now is Kate Buser. Buser gets it over to uh, Drew Burns, over to Blake Bolden. Bolden moving past Peroff, moving now. Nice job. Gets a lead pass. Oh, tried for Koizumi, but a little too hard. Bounced off Koizumi's stick, but she's going to get to it. Her pass back to Buser, though, gets intercepted. And here comes Serrano with it now. Oh, nice interception there. Nice job there. I believe that was uh, Christy Jensen. I'm sorry, no, that was Julian Dempsey. Uh, Dempsey with it. Naslin now with the pass over. That's Jensen. Jensen still is able to get it. She's got it over the blue line and just chips it deep. Bonello going after it as uh, is Buser. Oh, right in front, pass to Buser. She's just holding. Goes to Naslin. Oh, she can't keep it in. Blades will have to reset. Naslin's got it now on the move. Tries to get it to Cook in front. She gets the puck but loses her stick. Having both of those is kind of necessary in this game. And let's see here. Vela now gets it back over to uh, Marson. And Bonello knocks it out, tries to get it onto Vela's stick. Blades with it right now. Here comes Cardella. She's got Cook. Back pass to Cook. Cook with a shot in and a glove save there. Small was able to get a piece of it with the glove and knock it right over the crossbar. Oh, they tried to get it over to Cook once again. Winds up in uh, Toronto hands. Jensen can't keep it and then she's taken down. So Cook's got it now. Cook has the puck knocked off her stick and let's see, looks like we've got the offside. Toronto just a little too exuberant and moving into the Boston zone so they're going to pull it back out. Eight minutes, 44 seconds left to go in regulation. And right now the Blades need a couple of goals and they need them quickly. Taking the goal here, now, taking the face-to-face -face off here, I should say, is Ashley Cottrell now. And it looks like she'll be going up against, uh, let's see, that'll be, will that be Baldwin once again, or are they gonna put Chevry in there? A little bit of a discussion here. It's a couple of the referees are talking right in front of the Toronto bench. Not sure what's going on there. I guess I should take this time to remind you that uh, you can see the Blades on ice and you can also see them online. Blades are on the web. You can check them out at boston.cwhl.ca. We've got news, we've got notes, stats, player information, all much more too can be found right there. boston.cwhl.ca. And face off one by Toronto. They get it back into their own zone now with it is Molson. Now Molson tries to pass up to Chevry. Puck taken away by Taverna. She's got it now, does a cross ice pass over to Dostal. And coming through right now, that's Cottrell. Ashley Cottrell for the Blades. Chips it into the Toronto zone. Goes all the way in the uh, opposite boards. Wolfiler in there digging for it, as is Taverna. Rachel Lanis is in there as well, but it's taken up by Shannon Molson. Molson, cross ice pass. And uh, the Furies are on the move, but one of their passes wound up being deflected by a blade stick. And Wolfiler can't get to it in time. It was a loose puck heading into the uh, Toronto zone. Wolfiler had a little space, but just could not get to the puck in time. Nice little job there by Dostal getting uh, through some traffic and moving the puck back into the Toronto zone. But once again, a really ineffective possession because Toronto's able to get it and probably get it right back out. As Taverna tries the forecheck and misses, they just scale it right back out. And Dostal's got it now. Pass through everybody, and that's going to be icing. 
And it'll call them all the way back into the Boston zone once again. As more time ticks down. We're at 7.47 now. Which is a good time to get flying, I guess. Face off in the uh, Boston zone once again, won by the Furies. Pass now over to Bonello. Blocked by a stick. Nice job. I believe that was Wolfiler who got a stick in front of that. However, they can't clear it. And here comes Wolfiler with it now. Alyssa Wolfiler just puts it right in on net, and uh, the goaltender Small's going to play it. Then she uh, hands it off there, gets it to Kelly Zamora. Zamora now in her own back corner. Clears it out. And uh, Puck goes through a bunch of sticks. Then winds up on Wilson's stick, Katie Wilson, and she's just going to chip it in. No icing there. Bolden will have to play it. And now Bolden's being harassed heavily there in her own end there. That's Carrie Matamo who is uh, doing the forecheck on Bolden. And now it's uh, backhanded back into the zone there by Lexi Hoffmeyer. Bolden's got it now. Over to Drew Burns. And let's see, Koizumi wasn't sure where it was. She's able to get it off the boards now. And Dempsey tried to chip it ahead, but winds up in Toronto hands once again. Peroff has it now. She's got Allen too. Allen's got a goal already. And the puck is going to be a past her outstretched stick. Peroff has it now. And uh, her pass attempt to Allen is uh, knocked away by Bolden. And with it now, I believe that's Carrie Madamon once again. Buser chips it over to Drew Burns now. Burns tries to pass off the glass for Jillian Dempsey. She's got it. Dempsey's on the move. She's got Koizumi there too. Dempsey turns on the Jets, moves in on net. Oh, it puts it wide. Came right in. It was kind of a tough angle, but put it wide to the far side. And now a little bit of confusion at center ice as uh, Prevost, Caroline Prevost, chips it into the Boston zone, but a little too far. She hadn't cleared the red line yet, so that'll be icing, and we'll have the puck in the Toronto zone now. And right now, the Blades have 6.05 left to score at least two. Remember, first game of the season, they were tied and scored the winner with 14 seconds left. So shot in, off the faceoff. I believe that was off the stick of Casey Pickett, went high and wide. That line battling in there now, I believe that's Dempsey and Cardella moving for it. And let's see, they're trying to get it back to uh, Whitney Naslin. Cardella's got it now. Oh, tried to centering pass there, it's intercepted. They tried to go to pick it. It's intercepted though by Muller. And I'm sorry, it's Mullen, Lisa Mullen. Goes all the way down to the backboards in the Boston end. Naslin chips it out there and here comes Wolfiler with it now. Tries to get it out to Cook. Can't do it. Shannon Molson's got it now. Gets it uh, back over to uh, Kelly Zamora. And Jensen trying to knock it ahead for the Blades. Battle for it right in front of the scorer's area. And they're going to face it off. They'll tie this thing up and get another face off. Well, once again, the more time that gets chewed off this clock, the more it plays to Toronto's advantage. Blades need to get something going with the score right here. A couple of serious missed opportunities in the last period, including Kelly Cook on a shorthanded breakaway, just putting one off the far goalpost. Based off one by Toronto once again and in their zone. Blades trying to forecheck. And let's see, the puck goes off of a Dostal stick. She's taken down to the boards. Arm goes up, and this could be a break for the Blades. Dostal was trying to put the puck back into the uh, Toronto zone. Wound up getting hauled down, and that's going to be a Kelly Zamora. Zamora is going to sit for a couple. So the Blades will have a power play. So far they have uh, really no offense on special teams today. Face off one by Toronto. It's taken away though. Nice job there by the Blades. Back to the Drew Burns at the point now. Burns over to Bolden. Back to Burns. A little bit of a give and go. Oh, they try and get it into Koizumi in front. But then the puck is uh, knocked away there. I believe that was Hoffmeyer who knocked it out. And then Toronto just clears it all the way down to the Boston zone. And Boston will regroup all five players back there. And they're just going to come out five wide. Almost kind of looks like rugby on skates. With it now is Kate Buser. She goes wide on the left wing side. Buser moving in. Gets a shot in. Score! On the power play. Takes the attention off. Everyone goes wide and puts it right in front. Go Tanner Cook can get back to the empty side in time. 
I believe that might have been Bolden with the goal. We'll have to see what the official determination is, but uh, Bucer went wide, brought some attention with her. I was able to just slip a perfect pass right, right in the middle. And as a result, Boston now trails by a goal. It's four to three now. A power play goal with 4.30 left. And this could still happen, folks. Stay tuned. And the faceoff won by the Blades. Bolden has it now. Over to Burns. It was Blake Bolden. Bolden with the assist to Buster. And Burns gets the other assist. And so it's now 4-3. Here come the Blades once again. Pickett, drop pass for Cook. Cook tries to get over over Pickett in the right faceoff circle. Pickett's got it. She's able to skate wide. Gets it back to the point there to Christy Jensen. Pass over now. Whitney Naslin's got a Naslin high in the slot. Gets it down low. Over to Pickett now. Back to Naslin. Naslin loses the hold of it, and they've got to re uh, reset, basically. Get out of the zone and clear. And with it now is Linus. Oh, Linus tried to pass it to Pickett, but Pickett wasn't aware of it. And with it now is Jensen. The chips off of a couple of sticks winds up going into the Toronto zone. 3.37 left. Just scoring on a power play. The Blades, it's 4-3. The margin is a goal, three and a half left. Time to keep an eye on the Boston goaltender, Alyssa Frompkin. See when Coach Digit Murphy decides to uh, send her to the bench in favor of an extra skater. And let's see with it now, it's Koizumi. Koizumi, back to a Dempsey. Loose puck there, Koizumi can't get a stick on it. Goes behind the net. Now there's a race. It looks like Buser will get there first. Indeed she does, but then she's uh, kind of bumped off the puck. Nice job there. Shot goes in, and oh, it's a save. A blocker save there off the shot from the point. I believe that was Kira Dostal. And Toronto will chip it, to, try to chip it into the Boston zone. Maggie Taverna stops it. Dempsey's got a two, and we've got uh, a whistle. And I believe we've got an offside call. So right now, the Blades with their first special teams goal of the day. Now makes it 4-3. Just under three minutes left. Fasten your seatbelts, everybody. And the faceoff won by Toronto. Back to Vanello now. Oh, Pickett almost took it and went running with it. Dostal now tries to chip it up. And let's see, collision at center ice. And it's scaled into the zone now by uh, Casey Pickett. Giving chase right now, that's Kelly Cook. And it's uh, chipped out. And the Blades will have to give chase now. Taverna's got it. Maggie Taverna, pass over to Dostal. Up to Kelly Cook. Cook, though, being harassed heavily by a, by a Corey Chevry. Yeah. Cook's got it now. Cook chips it into the zone. Has it taken away by Chevry. And once again, Toronto looks to clear it. However, it bounces and goes wide. And the Blades looking to press. And right here, the interception. Interception by uh, Casey Pickett. She loses the puck, but it goes to Linus now. Linus with a shot, and it goes off the leg. That looked like it hurt. <laughs> Went off the leg of a Cohan Chuck, who scored one of the goals in this third period. Benello's got it now, being chased by Koizumi. Benello just hit the Jets now. Just trying to kill some time right now. Frompkin still in the Boston net. Bolden going back for it right now. Blake Bolden drops it for Burns. Up now to Buser. Dempsey's got it. Tried to pass it over, couldn't get it back to Bolden. And it's uh, coming out of the zone. And right now with it, Megan Arts, she tries to clear it into the zone. It's stopped there by Drew Burns, who does a nice little saucer pass to Buser. Three on two momentarily. Dempsey's got it now. Dempsey, left face off circle. And her pass attempt is blocked by Hoffmeyer. Loose puck near. They try to get it to Bolden. And she couldn't get it. It's going to go outside the zone. Minute 30 left to go. Frompkin still in the Boston net. Burns sidesteps a couple of uh, defenders now. Gets a pass over to Blake Bolden. It's a give and go back to Burns now. Back to Bolden. A give and go and go and go, which keeps going and going and going. It's like the Energizer pass here. All right, they scale into the zone. Here we go. Frompkin is out of the Boston net. Now the Blades have the extra skater. Minute seven left. Dempsey's got it now. Dempsey, pass over to Naslin. Back to Burns. Burns puts it toward the net, and it stopped right in front. And they've got to be careful. It's going to be icing. Yes, it'll be icing. As a result, it's going to come back into the Toronto zone. 54 seconds left. Still time to knot this one up. Yesterday, it was a last minute uh, heroics by Toronto that sent this game to overtime. Let's see if the Blades can match that here. 
Face off. One by Toronto. They try and clear it. Hoffmeyer can't get it, though. Puck goes to Cardella now. Cardella with a drop pass back to Naslin at the left point. Over now to Burns at the right point. Back to Naslin. Naslin drifting. Takes a shot and redirected. Goes right in on Small, but she can't corral it. And right now with it, that's, uh, I believe that's uh, Dempsey with it. Back down. Naslin with a slap shot. And a save by Small. And another face-off in the Toronto zone. 34.4 seconds left in regulation. Blades trying to fight their way back into this one. Three goals this period, two for Toronto, one for Boston. Boston trying to get that second, and right now it looks like Coach Digit Murphy is going to call a timeout. So a timeout for the Blades. 34.4 seconds left, six skaters on, nobody in the Boston net. And right now the goal in the uh, third period here. First one scored at uh, about 340, uh, sorry, 321. Goal scored by uh, number 91, Janelle Cohan Chuck, which made it at the time 3-2 in favor of Toronto. Katie Wilson then scoring at 9.17 to make it 4-2. And then, at about 15.30, uh, Blake Bolden, with a beautiful pass from Kate Buser, puts it in on the power play, and that's where we stand right now, 4-3. The Boston Blades, Toronto Furies, close game here, you're watching it right here, on New England Hockey Showcase, and if you're watching us on cable TV, you can watch us online as well. If you missed an episode, you can get caught up. You can see uh, all kinds of stuff, replays, fun stuff too. Full game replays are available as well. And they're all at our online home. It's www.NewEnglandHockeyShowcase.com. You can find our episodes on YouTube and Vimeo now. All you have to do is do a search, New England Hockey Showcase. You can find them on Vimeo, and of course, you'll be able to find them on YouTube as well. Face off in the Toronto zone. One almost by Buser there, but she couldn't get the puck back to her teammates. And uh, Boston with it right now, trying to uh, move it along the boards. A couple of players go down there, 26 seconds left and they try and get it back to Bolden. Everyone's on one side of the building. It's uh, knocked out, Burns has it now to Buser. Buser has it taken away and putting it toward the net and just missing it was Cohan Chuck. 11 seconds left, the Blades have got to move and they've got to move right now. With it is Buser. Buser loses it, Chevry's got it and that this might be the game. Bolden now puts it in, in on Small. She's going to stop it, one second. That's it, sound the horn. A valiant effort by the Blades in the last few minutes, but uh, they dug themselves into a hole that they couldn't get themselves out of. Final score this afternoon at the uh, Rodman Arena, the Toronto Furies, four, and the Boston Blades, three. Let's go over the game's scoring summary, starting from period number one. Starting at about uh, 314 into the first period. And the goal was scored by number 44, Corey Chevry. That made it one nothing at the time. And then Blake Bolden scored at about uh, 5.42, 5.42 of the uh, first period. That tied it up one to one. Then later on in the period, just uh, about 2.33 left to go in the period, that would make it to 17.27. Julie Allen putting the Toronto Furies back in the lead, and then Kate Buser tying it up once again at uh, 18.40 to make it uh, two to two. Then from there, second period, no scoring. It was uh, deadlocked, although the uh, Blades did have a couple of chances, most notably Kelly Cook on a shorthanded breakaway. Got the goaltender out of position, just put it right off the goalpost. So that was their biggest opportunity that they just couldn't cash in. And that, that opportunity right here would have made a world of difference because they lost by the one goal. Into the third period, early scoring. Uh, the first goal coming at uh, 421, a goal scored by number 91, Janelle Kohenchuk. They added a goal later for insurance, number eight, Katie Wilson scoring at 917. And that proved to be the difference maker because Blake Bolden did get her second goal of the game. And it was a power play goal at about uh, 1530 of the third period to make it 4-3. Uh, they tried, they rushed the zone late in the period. They tried pulling the goaltender for the extra skater. They just could not get the puck past the goaltender, Sammy Joe Small. And this one goes in the books as a victory for the Toronto Furies. Final score Toronto 4 and Boston 3 which means Toronto moves back in the sole possession of second place in the CWHL standings. That's going to do it for us for today here at New England Hockey Showcase. On behalf of my crew, Stacey Robert, John Samino, Bob Boyce, I'm Bill Robert wishing you a very good afternoon. We'll catch you next time. Tune in for New England Hockey Showcase. <laughs>